go. What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Today is an exciting day because we are finally getting to work on my motorcycle. The motorcycle has been sitting probably five years now. Um, just based off of not having anywhere to work on it or relying on some people who were always busy and never got to help me out. So we finally have about 80% of what I need to get this motorcycle done. I'm finally getting to jump into it. And today's that day. First things first, I've got to do some frame modifications. I never liked how this frame looked personally. The seat pan is flat, goes up and then kinks up again. It's just too much going on. For a cafe racer, you tend to want just like a nice flat seat. And I just think it looks better regardless, cafe racer or not. But um, that's what we're gonna be starting with. I also have to make a electronics tray, um, cut off some random tabs, move all this junk out of the way, but I'll show you exactly what we're gonna be doing. So here's the part of the frame that I don't like, how it upsweeps here and then flat and then upsweeps again. Yes, I put this on. You could see the video. Um, I'll put it up on the corner of the screen, but I just want this flat. And obviously, as you see, my hand hit against the suspension mount. So this has to get cut off and relocated in order to flatten this. Obviously, this uh, seat stay, this is going to have to get cut and trimmed. And then when I do the electronics tray, these brackets are going to have to get moved out of the way and some other things that I'll get to a little further down the line. Um, also, as you can see, uh, lighting's not too great down here, but there's two tabs right here for the center stand that I took off. These I'm gonna be cutting off. Um, that's really it, so nothing I could really do besides start cutting. As you saw, we cut a couple brackets off inside and the seat pan. Um, now, we gotta cut these off. I'm gonna use the big grinder to go on the outside and if I can get access on the inside, I will. Let's get these off first and go from there. So we got the two brackets off. As you see here from factory, it wasn't actually welded all the way around, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then here you can see where the rear hoop was when I got it welded on. Same thing, it was only welded across the top and the side. Same thing from factory. This is only welded across the side and the top, not the back. But now this will be fully welded once I cut it fully welded to the seat tube all the way around and then the bracket will be welded all the way around but let's uh grind off some of the shit we cut and then we can start lowering the rear frame So now that you can see everything has been ground down, I think I'm going to cut this bend first so that once this is straight, then I have to only worry about this being straight so then this can actually be notched properly. Um, also gonna have to weld under here where the old hoop was welded on just to make sure that's sturdy for when I bend this up. Uh, I'm hoping this works. If not, I'm gonna have to cut out this whole section and bend my own pipe to weld in but I'm um, going to give this one a shot first considering I can utilize what I already have. Something like that. We'll see. I 
measured where the um, top shock mounts are to a common point which was the bolt for the gas tank they're both 15 and a quarter away and uh, I'm just gonna tack them in and then I could weld them up finally all right so I got the brackets on finally um, I'm not super stoked on how it came out weld wise but uh, it'll hold that's for sure and when it's painted you're not gonna notice it as much I still have to grind these couple welds down um, but if you look the frame is now completely flat which is what I wanted so now we got that nice triangle there little up sweep on the tail that's really it I also had the swing arm on and put the shocks on which fit and I know considering I dropped this probably an inch or more um, the new shocks I get are gonna have to be a little shorter as well to get the ride height that I want the wheels probably gonna be tucking quite a bit more no doubt about that but uh there you have it I'm gonna cut these last two tabs off clean them up and then that'll be it for the frame modification I think it went pretty well um, next we'll be doing the battery box but let me cut these off and that'll be it so I don't like these grind marks they have flat spots to them so I'm gonna sand these down with some 120 grit emery cloth um, and hopefully smooth it out I did it on the center bar and you can see yeah there's some flat spots but nothing like how it used to look I mean some are still there like I said but compared to what it was it's a million times better and same with here you can see some marks but nothing like how it used to be so let's clean up these couple spots and then we're all done for the major frame modifications so if you look at it yeah, you can still see some high and low spots, but that was from um, the first time when I modified this frame, cutting off latches and stuff. I wasn't careful enough, but for everything else, like the underside, you can't even see here that it was messed with. And same on the other side, it's fairly damn smooth, if I do say so myself. Um, obviously, coilover mounts are welded on, and that's really it. The main triangle that cafe racers have is now open. I still might want to make brackets to put on the side panels if I ever want. Um, but other than that, we're done. So, super happy with that. So there it is. Um, if anybody has questions, comments, or concerns, I mean, I did the best I thought I can do. If you have other ways that I should have gone about it, or shouldn't have done this at all just let me know if you have any input on anything I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I'm tired but that's it for the major frame modifications I hope you enjoy if you liked what you saw feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace